everyone, it's Carrie, and today I'm going to... <laughs> Whoops. And today I'm going to show you how to make your own sunroom in The Sims Freeplay. This is super easy, but it is a little expensive. You only need a th at least a thousand simoleons, and you need um, at least four social points. But this is somewhat up to you. So I have this giant mansion-like house. Which, as you can tell, is quite big. And so I thought the sunroom would give it a nice touch. Now, I just do want to say that I'm using a new recording app. Which is, there's a watermark, right? Well, not a watermark, but there's just a... There recording logo on the right hand side of my screen so if you want to check that out go for it but i had to get a new recording app so i hope you like this one. Oh yeah so i have already bought every almost everything i need for this but yeah never mind okay so what is going to cost social point if for social points is the white Scandinavian door or you can do any of them they just look like glass doors so that would be great for a sunroom so let's get started building now I cannot tell you the exact prices this is going to be because I think it's going to vary on what you put in it but anyways so you need at least um, three blocks wide for your sunroom, and you can make it as long as you'd like. So I'm doing a three by eight. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's eight. <clears throat> and I'm doing a two by four square here, so it will kind of wrap around the corner. Ah, okay. Lagging game. <laughs> Sorry. Now you can do this on both sides of the house, or covering the door, or whatever you'd like. I'm just going to do... It just wrapping around the house, and not covering the door. Which you probably don't know what I mean by that. But now is when you should get your doors. Now these, I have a lot of doors in inventory apparently. But these uh, Scandinavian doors are I, be are, I believe, four social points each. And you can get social points by logging into a Facebook account and completing social point quests or logging into... A Google Play account and then just visiting the and also doing social quests so I was right the double Scandinavian doors are for social points and the small ones the single ones are two social points <laughs> okay <laughs> so let's just get started Okay, yeah. so if you want this to look really open, then it would be best if they had like floor length windows, but since the game does not offer, oh dear, does not offer that, and there is a small side effect that you may get this, and so this little pathway thing leads up to this door instead. Hey. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. But I'm going to have to live with it. It doesn't make much difference to me, but it might matter to you, so I'm not sure. And if you're going to do sort of a wraparound like this, I'd suggest putting in a double door frame.
like that. Now let's start with some windows. I'm going to put in the same windows that I have been putting in through the whole house, which is I think double white windows. White, wide sliding white. That's a mouthful. I'm going to move the door over one. Okay. My game doesn't want me to. There we go. Okay, let's just put that there. And so, if you really want it to look like a sunroom, you should put windows all around the entire um, room, or rooms in my case. As far as you can, because um, it, a sunroom would be pretty open, and if they had glass, just plain glass windows, I would totally get those. But as far as I know, they do not. But there is our windows. Now, of course, <laughs> you need um, to have furniture slash uh, doors and, I mean, not doors, floors and paint. So you can... If you are going on the thousand simoleon budget, I would not recommend doing this, but I'm going to use white marble, which is 40 simoleons per uh, square. So just for that little room, it's almost a thousand simoleons. So if you're trying to do this on a low budget, then I wouldn't do that. So I'm going to put that in my second room, too. And for my walls, you, you'd want it to be relatively plain, I guess, because it is a sunroom. It's not meant to be, like, in-your-face colors. So I'm just going to do just some plain white paint, like that which I just noticed matches my bathroom exactly. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. And I would really recommend putting in doors and windows before you start putting in furniture because you don't want anything blocking it or, yeah, you know. <laughs> You don't want to have to redo the whole room just because it's blocking something. But in just about any sunroom, there's going to be, like, chairs. And the good thing about having this as a uh, indoor space is that you can use indoor chairs. So you could, I guess you could use a patio, but then you wouldn't be able to use indoor chairs. So I'm just going to put in these dining chairs, which are padded. They're very fancy looking and in pink and white. Ah, because apparently the theme of this, this whole thing is white. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? <laughs> I could... None of my sims would be able to get into these. That would be awesome if they could just go, like, one after another and be able to get into them. But unfortunately, that's not so. So you can put in a table. I'm going to put a dining table in there. I'm just hoping that they don't use it as a dining room. But that would be kind of cute if they did. Hmm. Okay, just putting in two tables, and... Wow, I have got a lot of stuff in inventory. I don't use my inventory very often, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> so you can use any chair you want, 
I, if you really want this to look fancy, I recommend um, splurging on the social, I mean, not so, yeah, social point and uh, lifestyle point furniture and stuff because it looks really nice. So, you want this to look pretty nice. So, that, oh, and of course, there's one thing I cannot forget, and that is, um, <laughs> like, and that is plants, because I think in the summer it would be cute to have some flowers in your room. Now, I'm getting these potted plants here because they're, I'm probably going to get those potted plants. Hmm. Let's check my inventory. See what I have in there. This. Okay, so this is a small potted tree. And it's perfect for that. And just to add a finishing touch, I'm going to add a couple of the cheapest... Ah! Add a couple of the cheapest tea kettles. I just like the way they look instead of like the ex big expensive ones and it's kind of cute to have I guess a room that has like some teapots in it. Like afternoon tea. <laughs> Sorry. But let's just put up, if I put up the walls here you'll see that this is very open and they're glass doors but another thing I'd like to add is that it's very handy to have a door that leads that leads from your um, sunroom to your house. Now, not all sunrooms have to have this, but it's handy to have that because you don't want them have to have to like walk all the way around your sims to walk all the way around just to get into the house. So, I think it's a pretty cute sunroom, and I hope you enjoyed! I'll see you next time, and have a great day! Bye!